Today we're in recovery mode. Uh, we're gonna go to a pub, dog friendly pub. Maybe uh, get some bag of chips. And what do you plan to do after you finish recording? Uh, finish making photos, sorry. I will edit them. I'm gonna <laughs> go drink a pint. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite important just to take time out, even if it's to just open the window and breathe some fresh air or to go downstairs, have a cup of tea. You have to take some time out, reset and come back into the day. I settled in South Wales for a um, for a woman who different to that one. <laughs> and how are you liking Brighton so far? Uh, it's quite windy. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, welcome to Easy English. So I'm down on the undercliff during the Easter break, and I want to find out what are people doing today. Before we start this week's episode, if you're a fan of Easy English and you want to help support us, then why don't you quickly subscribe and like the video below. Here we go. Uh, we've just had all the family for, for Easter. Uh, we, we've had five grandchildren and family, but today we're in recovery mode. Today um, it's my working day, but I've just taken an hour off to walk in my neighbour to get the fresh air and to enjoy the sunshine. What are you doing today? We are trying to catch a bit of fresh air and give the dogs a, uh, a stretch of their legs before the, uh, before the weather turns this afternoon. Uh, hopefully we're going to go up into the city here and eat some fika. Uh, we're from Sweden so we want to like go to a cafe and eat some sweet stuff or something like that and just look at the city. Just walk along the seafront, maybe uh, get some bag of chips, you know, that sort of thing. Today we are... Um, visiting Brighton. What are you doing today? So we're walking from Peacehaven to Brighton with the dog. We've got a few days off in between work shifts. I thought we'd come down to Sussex and see the seaside. What is it that uh, you two are doing today? So we're doing a photo shoot for her dance project. We had Easter eggs from our grandchildren, so we are going to eat those as I mean, well. We're, for, we're allowed That's a dessert. Yeah. <laughs> You're having like a big hangover day of like, uh, like a conversational hangover day. Oh, something like that, yeah. Do you do this most days? I do because I have been working for myself now for about seven years and the main reason I did that was to have the flexibility of a, a relaxed lifestyle where I can balance my mental health with my working days, so trying to get a work-life balance achievement. And who's we? Is it your friends or family? So there is, uh, we're a family of four. There's me, my wife, my two children and our two dogs. Okay. So uh, you've just heard saying hello to another dog. <laughs> you're from Sweden and yeah. you're in England looking for Swedish food? <laughs> Not really Swedish food, okay. but like everything can be fika as long as it's something sweet. Uh, so like coffee and then a pastry is just what you need. And it's just something we do like almost every day, like go in the afternoon. It's like afternoon tea, I would say, but like we just call it fika. Okay. And what do you do after the chips? Well, just go home and then get dinner ready. <laughs> <laughs> From one meal to the next. Well, that's it really, sort of, you know. That's life. And what do you have planned for later tonight? Um, we don't have any plans yeah. yet. No. Not really. It's going to rain, so uh, yeah. we just wanted to enjoy the sun while it lasted. But we don't have any plans, so we'll just see what. Make the most of the hundreds of pubs, probably, <laughs> at night time, yeah. if, it, if it rains. It's going to rain later. What's the plan for tonight? Uh, we're going to go to a pub, dog-friendly pub, watch the Champions League, Chelsea Real Madrid and uh, sit there with a drink and the dog and uh, just, just sit in the pub. Nice. And um, how did you come about to get connected to do this together? I mean, we've grown up with each other, yeah. so it was kind of easy to easy. decide, really. <laughs> and you're on your way to doing it or you've already done it? Done a few well, things, we've yeah, we'll done different locations. Up. Cool. Yeah. What, what kind of dance stuff do you do? Um, I do everything, um, but today we're doing contemporary. If you want to help support or learn with Easy English, then why don't you consider becoming an Easy English member with the link up here. We offer various ways to help you improve your English. If you're looking to improve your listening skills, you could become a member of our Easy English podcast. There you'll receive the interactive transcript for each episode that we publish, translating the podcast into various languages to help you keep up and follow along with what we're talking about. If it's to practice your speaking skills, then you could become an Easy English Conversation member. Practice your speaking skills each week in our online pub where we talk about regular topics on life, work, hobbies, pets, music and film. So to become an Easy English member, go to easyenglish.video forward slash membership. 
now back to the episode. And now back to normality today. That's right, our retired, quiet life starts again today. <laughs> <laughs> but we feel shattered, so. Through my own experience of burnout and stress and working with clients with burnout and stress, I've come to recognize that time out is quite important to reset, to start to work again. Okay, so this is your self-prescribed Yes, yeah, it's quite important to, to take time out, even if it's to just open the window and breathe some fresh air or to go downstairs, have a cup of tea, you have to take some time out, reset and come back into the day. We've come down from South Wales, um, so we've just we've popped down for, for a few days for, for a change of scenery and hopefully some better weather, but that's not necessarily been the case unfortunately <laughs> yeah, life at the sea kind of stuff yeah you know? yeah and uh then a uh, random side question uh, yeah. are you welsh i'm not no welsh. i'm from no so i grew up in sheffield i left sheffield to go to university at 18 um and i haven't really returned but i settled <laughs> in south wales for a um for a woman who different to that one <laughs> but in South Wales I stayed and then uh, what did you say you do later on after your what, fika you call it fika yeah, mm -hmm. what, what do you do after your fika uh, I think we're going to take the bus home because it's supposed <laughs> to rain and then uh, maybe go in, uh, to the cinema or something like that because you're doing something indoors yeah it's a good idea yeah and what do you plan to do after you finish recording uh finish making photos sorry i will edit them and then i'm gonna <laughs> go drink a pint <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching this week's episode let us know in the comments below what you've been getting up to on the easter break and as always we'll see you next week Ta -ra. <laughs> <laughs>